Well, hello everybody. I've got the results from my test of the new Edo flat surface cleaner that I uh, purchased through Amazon. So this is the, the piece of concrete I did the demo on and you can see that there's some grime and, and uh, well, it's dirty, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, reversing the camera. Uh, the first thing I wanted to do for this demo is get a little water out there on the on the concrete so you can see how dirty it really is. When you put a little water on the concrete it it uh, increases the con contrast between the the clean and the sooty parts so I thought that would help for you to see you know get a better idea what the starting condition of this concrete is. So I'll just speed along through some of this and you can see that I mean, the water's going to darken the concrete, but uh, it definitely brings out the sooty parts. Okay, so the next part will be get the pressure washer hooked up and the new surface cleaner hooked up, and here we go. And uh, there it is, my, uh, well, now a year-old electric uh, pressure washer. I've been using the heck out of this thing. Anyway, on to the flat surface cleaner uh, that I'm going to demo today. You know, I like this uh, cleaner right out of the box. It was lightweight, but it felt strong. The stainless steel makes it feel strong, and of course it came with these little extensions. So, uh, you know, it's, you can keep, you don't have to bend over so much to use it. I'll just uh, speed along through some of this here. Um, yeah, I found this uh, cleaner was really nice. It was lightweight. It was much lighter uh, weight on my hand to push it around. Um, you can see how really that's just that's such an improvement in, in maneuverability and ease of use. Uh, I will say though, you know, it really wasn't that great uh, a result. And so now I'm faced with a a dilemma here do I get a you know like a gasoline powered pressure washer or you know a smaller surface cleaner M maybe another stainless steel model with with wheels on it something smaller that'll keep more power onto the concrete or, or wash better you know I sent a, a email over to the manufacturer and and they said that the these electric pressure washers may be rated at a certain power but they really don't make that much pressure and I guess I can kind of believe that I don't have any way to test that to know for a certainty but just looking at this uh, concrete I, I can tell it, it's it really didn't come clean and I spent quite a bit of time going up and back on this look how easy that thing is to, this surface cleaner is to push around now I love that part and uh, you know, I would buy this again. Now I'm just trying to figure out, do I need to get a gas pressure washer to support my new cleaner? I mean, uh, that seems like a lot of money, but, uh, and, and I like my electric, but, you know, I, I'd like to be able to push this, or, you know, use this new cleaner. I've thought about changing the nozzles. There's different, I could get different nozzles and perhaps that would work better. I don't know. Internet, tell me what I should do here. The manufacturer said it's no problem. They'll be happy to refund the money. So, you know, I, I, I highly recommend this surface cleaner if you have the power to use it. it. It just, you know, those wheels and the construction is great. Well, anyway, th thanks for watching my little demo. Please like and subscribe. Um, I enjoy putting these videos out, but, you know, I would like more subscribers. Thanks. Uh, now, just another little walk through. Uh, yeah, it just didn't, it's still wet, but, it, you know, it just didn't come as clean as I hoped it would. Oh, well. Yeah, we'll try you know, again. I'll either exchange this or put different nozzles in and just try it again. Here you can see it's mostly dried now. So it, it does work. It just, uh, I, I'd hope to get a lot better result. Okay, so uh, thanks again, everybody. Merry Christmas.